Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use your second computer as another monitor for your host computer. I've done a video of this before involving TeamViewer and, and a ghost display but th that method had a very long and painful process to set up so this is a new method which I found out. So we're going to be using a software called Space Desk. So go ahead and open your web browser and search for Space Desk. Links are in the description below. So this is the web web page, and you want to hit you want to hit download and get Space Desk drivers for Windows primary PC server. So on my computer is 64 bit. Go ahead and just download that. Okay, so just go ahead and hit next, 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 and go through the setup for Space Desk. So once the setup is finished, um, it's going to ask you to restart your computer. So go ahead and do that, and I'll be back. So after you've restarted your computer, um, Space Desk should be installed. If you go ahead and check your your taskbar here, spa there will be a Space Desk icon. So um. That's about it for setting up on your host computer. So right now you want to go to your second computer here. Go ahead and open your web browser and go to the Space Desk website. Under downloads here, yeah, you have two options on how you want to view the second monitor. The first one is actually a Windows client application and the second one is actually a web browser client application. So you don't need to install anything. So I'll, I'll go through both methods. Um, the Windows client application is a lot faster, so it actually appears a lot more s smoother and it's there's less input lag and it displays more quickly. But if you have a Mac and you or you have a computer running Linux, you won't be able to use this software because it's Windows unless you have Wine or something. So for so for the basic view, it's going to ask for your IP address for your primary PC. So go back to your to your primary computer um, to find your IP address you can go ahead right click this open network and sharing center and under your Ethernet or Wi-Fi whatever under connections click on it and hit details it will show you your IPv4 address so in, 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 in my case it's 192.168.1.166 so key that in into the the basic the, the web browser and hit connect so right now what's gonna do it's gonna it's gonna connect and it connects instantly. As you can see this is this is my this is my desktop wallpaper. Uh, double tap to go to full screen or alternate and oh no, that doesn't work. Just double tap to go to full screen. And here you have a few a few menu options. And as you can see it's it's basically done. The second screen, you can actually go ahead and check here there's actually a second screen connected right here and you can you can choose which one you want to be your main or how you want to rearrange it in my case I prefer to rearrange it this way okay so now I will go ahead and and use the Windows client application so go ahead and hit download and go ahead and install I mean once you have done space desk um, personal view will be on your desktop. Go ahead and open that and from here you want to hit file connect. It should auto detect computers that are already running space desk. In any circumstances that it doesn't detect your computer, um, you en manually enter your IP address and I've already told you how to get your IPv4 IP address. So right here is just go ahead and hit OK connect and double click to go full screen and you, you'll, you'll see this it's the same and it's already connected the display so if I drag if I drag here's a window uh, it's actually the, the display is actually connected to the opposite side so I'll just go ahead and hit apply and there we go it's done so you can go ahead and play around with whatever settings you want yeah there are also settings here um, compression quality and how how much quality you want 
it to be in the case where the display is actually lagging you can go ahead and adjust this uh, I'm using Wi-Fi so it's you, sh you should decrease it if you're using Wi-Fi so um, thanks guys for watching hopefully this helps and bye